Is everyone ready? Ms. Konecki, are we recording? I'm starting yep. the recording now. <clears throat> Thank you. I'd like to call the Planning Commission meeting to order. Mr. Zarzecki, can you please call roll? All right, Ms. Chick? Here. Uh, Northfield Township. We have to give our location. All right. Um, Mr. Kuznow? Here. Mr. Dreyer? Present. Mr. Qu uh, Quinto? Northfield Township. Ms. Safonte? Present. Northfield Township. Mr. Roman? Here. Same. Northfield Township. Is Arzeki present in Northfield Township? Everybody present. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to adopt the agenda. Support. Uh, support by Ms. Chick. Any questions, comments on that? Seeing none, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? None. Um, Ms. Konecki, we'll go to call the public, please. Absolutely, Chair. At this time, we will have a call to the public. Uh, members of the public are welcome to comment on agenda items at this time. Should you wish to speak, uh, you may use the raise hand function that you will find at the bottom of your screen, or if you're on your phone, which I don't think we have anyone, but you can dial star six, and I will uh, call on you. Uh, and unmute you so you may speak. If you have a comment, uh, please begin by stating your name and address for the record, and you'll have three minutes to make your comment. Does anyone from the public wish at this time to comment on agenda items? Chair, I see no hands. Thank you. Uh, in that case, there's no clarifications from commissioners. Uh, we did not receive any correspondence. Uh, there's no public hearings tonight, so we'll go to reports of committees. Board of Trustees report, Ms. Chick. Uh, the Board of Trustees met on November 24th. Uh, the uh, consideration of the rezoning request from the Whitmore Lake Public Schools regarding, regarding the billboard in the rezoning um, was actually tabled. Um, a pending review of the attorney uh, we should have it back on the agenda coming up this Tuesday, assuming we get something back from the attorney by then. That's all I have. Thank you. ZBA report, Mr. Kuzno. Uh, ZBA has not met since our last uh, planning commission meeting. Thank you. Anything from staff, Ms. Bird? I have nothing, thank you. Thank you. Planning consultant report, Ms. Konecki. Thank you, Chair. Um, just a few items. We continue to work on the Parks and Recreation Master Plan and the Development Packet. Those are both making good progress. Um, we are also working on preparing the Annual Report of Planning Commission Activities, which is required to be submitted to the Township Board at year. Okay, thank you. My Parks and Recreation Report, Mr. Iquinto. Yes, thank you. In addition, to the planning consultant working with us, there is a survey that went out with the tax bills. So please, uh, if you could take a couple minutes and complete that and return it, it would be great help and assistance to us to know how to better serve the residents of the community with rela relation of what they would like to see in the park. Thank you. Thank you. Downtown planning group, Ms. Infante. Thank you. Downtown planning group met on the 18th of November, and really the main point came uh, that that they wanted for me to express to the planning commission is their desire for the township to become uh, redevelopment ready. So uh, she, uh, the chair in particular, said that she is working with the incoming supervisor to get engaged, to be evaluated. So the process of getting the township engaged and evaluated for this certification. That's Thank you. Uh, there's no unfinished business tonight. So it takes us to new business item 10. It's case JPC 200017, 
recommend to approve, approve with conditions or deny the request of Northfield Estates, 855 West 8 Mile Road, Whitmore Lake, for site plan approval to install a 2,280 square foot clubhouse and a 1,200 square foot office located adjacent to Emerald Circle within the center of the Northfield Estates Manufactured Home Community. Parcel number B02062001 and zoned MHC Manufactured Housing Community District. Uh, with that, we will go to Ms. Conkey. Thank you, Chair. Um, I want to start by setting the table a bit here for the Planning Commission. Um, this is a little bit of an unusual request. I'm not sure many of you have had the opportunity to review a manufactured housing community. So all of the standards that govern this review are found in Article 11 of the Zoning Ordinance. This is a state uh, regulated use. So uh, the township must adopt uh, a set of standards that are in line with the state acts that are approved by the State Housing Commission. So that article states that the construction of any building not previously approved needs to submit a preliminary site plan for approval to the Planning Commission. So even though you have engineered drawings in front of you, the actual submission standards are uh, closer to that of a concept plan where we are looking for a layout and uh, generally that the standards are met than we normally would do in a full site plan review. That said, we have reviewed uh, this proposal against uh, all of the application criteria and design standards contained in that article for compliance. Um, the site is uh, proposed to be a four modular building uh, site attached together in an L shape for a new community building located at the center of Emerald Circle on four vacated uh, manufactured housing sites. Um, the management offices and community centers are permitted accessory uses within the MHC and the standards, uh, the dimensional standards for the building itself um, are all met for this site. Uh, in particular, what we are looking for, generally speaking, with a site like this is building separation. Uh, each of the required minimum separation between the community building and adjacent uses, such as internal roadways, parking bays, and adjacent home sites have all been met per our review. Uh, no new access roads or drives are going to be proposed in the plan. Access to the clubhouse will be provided by an existing internal road, Emerald Circle, um, that meets the minimum uh, two-way internal roadway width of 21 feet. Um, the applicant is proposing uh, 23 total parking spaces. Uh, we find this to be equivalent uh, to the standards that are provided in the letter. Um, and to meet the parking standard, the applicant is proposing to provide 11 new parking spaces on the kind of southwest side of Emerald Circle adjacent to the clubhouse that all meet the minimum uh, dimensional requirements for parking. And on the other side of the street, they're proposing to use 12 of those existing spaces. So what we've asked the applicant to do uh, for us to do our due diligence is to verify that use of those existing spaces for this new use is not actually making the entire site deficient in terms of the required uh, two spaces per home, uh, parking spaces that are required, and one space per every three of home sites, uh, visitor spaces that are required. Um, so we had the applicant submit exhibit A to do that count, and we independently verified the figures that they had there to ensure that there are um, 19 excess spaces that had existed on the site before the new change of use was proposed. Um, so we feel comfortable that those 13 or those 12 spaces that they're proposing to allocate to the new use are in fact uh, appropriate. They are also uh, proposing to restripe those existing spaces so that all spaces used for the new use um, will meet the current ordinance standard. Um, sidewalks will be provided uh, to and from the clubhouse with wood decking and a walkway provided to meet the front entrance. All exposed ground surfaces will be covered uh, with grass and uh, winterberry shrubs are proposed along the foundation line. Uh, a, six put, a six foot flat panel vinyl fence is proposed along uh, 
the western and southern edges of the site to provide some shielding from the adjacent home sites of the use. Um, and site lighting has been provided to, uh, uh, to the standard of the ordinance. Uh, I do note in my letter that uh, there are no site fixtures proposed for the buildings at this time. Those will have to meet the, uh, just the electrical code when installed. Um, and so we, we would recommend the applicant submit those for administrative review prior to installation. Um, finally, the applicant has noted that there will be no trash or dumpster sites. Uh, rather, the trash will be handled much like a residential site would with a receptacle that will be picked up by a service. So finding that all of the standards required for this type of use are met, we are recommending that the Planning Commission approve the application subject to the following conditions. Um, that the applicant address any issues uh, raised by outside agencies or other departments, if any, and that the decorative light fixtures on the building are submitted for administrative review. Thank you. Thank you. I see Mr. McNamara is here. We'll go to the OHM report. Thank you, Chair. Um, yeah, so real quickly, we um, didn't have any real issues with the plan as presented. We had, did have four housekeeping items that are in our letter. Uh, we did do, a, this was our second review and um, we didn't see a revision date on the plan. So just for um, record keeping, we were asking that that be added. There is, uh, there are, as Julie had mentioned, um, three lots that were previously um, mobile homes this is sitting on. And, and so there were water and service connections for those sites. It wasn't clear to us from the plan which water and sewer connections they were intending to utilize for this building. Um, they had them all actually marked for, called out for removal or abandonment. So just asking for clarification on that, if they in fact all will be abandoned new services installed or if they're gonna utilize one of the existing service connections. Uh, and then a real minor comment on uh, the parking calculation. There's a conflict on two sections on the plan notes. Same thing with the um, dimension for the barrier free spacing. So, uh, really just housekeeping items that could easily be uh, cleaned up and corrected. And that's all that we had on this project. Thank you, Mr. McNamara. And for the record, uh, there's a uh, approval subject to field inspection from the fire department. Uh, with that, we'll go to any comments, questions from the commissioners. Mr. Dwyer. Uh, question for Marcus. Um, seems like typically everything sheet drains across the frontage, across the sidewalk, into the road. And here we've got a 180 foot swale, which puts the water over the sidewalk in one spot. And I couldn't really see how much water was getting into that swell from the grades or where the roof drains are going to end up in there, but doesn't seem like the best idea. And I was sort of expecting an inlet structure of some sort to get that water from the swale into that storm sewer in the road, either a structure in the road or a second one in a swale with a beehive or something, up, rather than bring all that water to the sidewalk and just let it either tip over the sidewalk or just a road away. Just doesn't seem like the best idea at that point. Yeah, I agree. We, we did, in fact, have a similar concern um, with that configuration. Um, that said, this is all private site. It's not public right of way. Um, given that and the actual, we did look at the um, impervious surface that would be draining to that swale um, and the length of the swale. And so, uh, Really, it would only be in pretty significant rain events where we would expect the water to, to, to um, run over the sidewalk before it was able to soak in. And in, and in rain events that were you know, beyond a 10-year storm where everything is, is soaked, essentially. Uh, so on the smaller events, typically um, the, the swale is uh, sufficient depth and length to capture that water and let it percolate into the soil. Uh, so it would be a rare occurrence occasion um, that the overland flow would uh, go across the sidewalk and as I said in those cases it'd be a, a wet weather event where all this you know everything would be inundated. 
Mr. Cousineau. I saw a note that said that this, this building is going to be four manufactured buildings put together. Is this going to be on a foundation? Are there any elevations required as part of the site plan approval? Is this a permanent structure or is this more like a mobile home structure all put together? Is it going to be elevated off the ground? Um, um, so that is not, that may be a question best answered by uh, the applicant or representative of the applicant if we have them here. Uh, like I said, at the outset of my review, really only what's required to be submitted for uh, planning commission to review here is a preliminary plan. So the, the plans don't tell me whether this is permanent or not, um, not even in the notes. I can assume as much from the, the last sheet where we see some detail of uh, the side of the building just for the purposes of the decking. But um, I, I would direct that question to the applicant if we have a representative here, if the engineer is here. Okay. Is there? Yes, and Brad, Brad is here, so I'm going to. Um... Okay. okay. Brad, I believe you're here. Are you able to uh, address that question for us? Yes. Can everybody hear me? Correct. Uh, Did yes, you introduce thanks. yourself as well? Uh, I do not see myself. It just says name, but that's okay. Um, uh, thank you for having me here tonight and, uh, and the owner as well. Um, as, as I understand, uh, the, building, uh, the building submittal had already occurred for the, for the module home. has already been approved. Um, it is, a, as I understand, a two-sectional, uh, in two-sectional pieces, uh, it's an L-shaped pattern, uh, so each piece of that L-shape would be um, separate, uh, and then they're connected. Um, the building is on a foundation, um, and it will be uh, just above the ground, uh, the top of the foundation. Does that answer your question, Mr. Cousineau? Yeah. I guess I wish he was more more sure of himself, but uh, yes, I guess so. Uh, typically, the, the requirements are like f pier footings with tie downs for the for the unit onto the onto the pier, pier footings. That's my been my experience with it, and there's nothing more required or that we can require than that due to its uh, yeah. okay. being a manufactured home. All right. Anyone else have questions or comments, Miss Chick? Yeah, I also noticed on the plans that the, the water sources were to be abandoned and there was no other um, notation about a water source uh, that is going to be used. So we do not know if they're going to be installing new or if they're going to use whatever is there. I do know for uh, about three or four years back, there was a water quality issue there. If, uh, is that going to be of concern to the Planning Commission if we don't know where the water sources are coming from or if there is a water quality issue? I could speak to that a little bit if you'd like. Thank uh, you. Yeah, so I, I suppose the applicant could clarify. Uh, it, it was our understanding their intention is to tie into the existing system. It just needed to be clarified which service they're going to use or if they're going to make a fresh tap to that. And I'll let Brad, I guess, answer that question in a moment. Um, but we were made aware of your uh, question about the water quality, so we did research that. A little bit since after we issued the letter and had our water quality folks look into it, um, let me just read you here what they had um, what they had found. Uh, there have not been any violations of the Safe Drinking Water Act maximum containment limits reported between 2015 and 2019. There were also no monitoring or reporting violations in 2017 or 18. Uh, we couldn't find the consumer confidence reports online. Uh, however, the mobile, po uh, mobile home park owner or operator uh, could just uh, have sent those results directly to the residents. Um, so we need to reach out to the, uh, the North, Northfield Township Estates directly in order to find out the specifics um, 
particularly if the contaminant was iron, which is um, what, what my understanding was that there was a high iron concern. Uh, there is no uh, state uh, maximum containment level limit set for iron. It's more of a concern for the, you know, the hard water, the staining and et cetera. So I don't know if the applicant has anything more to add to that, but I guess my summary is from what we were able to find, there is no issue from a health perspective with the water supply. Okay. Yeah, we did get a report back from the state uh, about the water quality, um, and they did recommend some fixes to the uh, Northfield Estates. I don't know if they were done or if they needed to be done, but they did make a recommendation. So that document is available. I actually have a copy of it somewhere. So. Okay. Anyone else have comments or questions? Ms. Infante. Um, I'm not sure that this is really a, a, an appropriate question because this is all private property. So probably fencing ordinances don't apply, but I'm, maybe if the applicant could just explain again why this six foot vinyl fence is being put in. Um, my experience has always been in mobile home communities that it's a very open space, very open community. Um, I assume it's to give screening to the houses behind. I, it was just a very large fence. So um, what is the purpose of the fence? If he, if he could answer. Yeah, go ahead, if he's there. Hi, this is Brad. Um, well, I, let me let me kind of go back to the first comments uh, by Janet. Um, thank you for those. Um, as far as the the water system, the water quality. Um, first of all, the the water service connections will be there. Are, there are four connection possibilities uh, that are existing currently on the on this property. Um, the the far northern location will not be uh, will be abandoned. Uh, this, the second site is the site that will be used uh, for the water service connection, existing connection. Same thing with the sanitary sewer and the dry utilities. Um, and then the, the, the two southern parcels, I guess you want to call them parcels, uh, would also be abandoned. So to answer the question about service connections, that's where the connections will be. Um, <clears throat> and that is shown on on one of the drawings uh, that uh, are on the plan drawings. They're not very clear though, I, I admit. Um, <clears throat> regarding water service quality, um, the, the uh, community is doing a proactive approach on, uh, on addressing the iron issues and are currently in the process of um, uh, installation of a, a water treatment system to help with that. So that is in process. So um, uh, that will continue to move forward. Um, now in regards to the fencing, um, this was uh, partially require, uh, request by the owner to throw a fence back there. Um, uh, we wanted to meet uh, proper screening requirements. We wanted to make sure that we were providing um, an adequate um, separation between the um, between the clubhouse and office, um, I guess, atmosphere, if you want to put it that way, uh, and residential units, uh, and at the same time, create enough uh, green space um, in the, um, on the clubhouse property for, you know, potential future use. Thank you. Uh, adequate, Ms. Infante? Appreciate it. Thank you. There's no requirement for a fence, by the way. Am I correct, Ms. Kaneki? That is correct. And there is also no screening requirement uh, for in the MHC district, except <clears throat> along public rights of way and along the property line. Thank you. Anyone else have questions or comments? Uh, seeing none, I'll make a motion to approve this site plan with conditions listed on the McKenna report dated November 24th, 2020, and the OHM report dated November 24th, 2020. Supported. Supported by Mr. Iquino. Any questions, comments on the motion? Seeing none, we'll do a roll call vote, Mr. Zarzecki. <coughs> 
All right, uh, Ms. Check? Yes. Mr. Kuzno? Yes. Mr. Dreyer? Yes. Mr. Aquinto? Yes. Ms. Safante? Yes. Mr. Roman? Yes. Ms. Arzeki, yes. Uh, seven, four, none against. Okay, thank you. Uh, moving on, we'll go to item 10B, which is recommend to adopt the 2021 calendar. I recommend to adopt the calendar as presented. I'll support that if it's a motion. Yes, sir. Thank you. Any questions, comments on the calendar? Seeing none, uh, we'll do a roll call vote again, Mr. Zarzecki. All right, uh, Ms. Chick? Yes. Mr. Kuzno? Yes. Mr. Dreyer? Yes. Mr. Quinto? Yes. Ms. Afante? Yes. Mr. Roman? Yes. Zarzecki? Yes. Seven approve. None against. Thank you, Mr. Zarzecki. Uh, moving on, we'll go to uh, approval of the preceding minutes. I make the motion we approve the minutes from November 18th, 2020, and dispense with reading. Support. Support. Supported by Ms. Infante, I believe. Any questions, comments, or corrections on the minutes? Seeing none, all in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? I see none. That's approved. Uh, final call to the public. Ms. Kaneki, I'll let you take that. Thank you, Chair. All right, at this time, we will have our final call to the public for items on and off the agenda. Uh, so the same procedures as before, if any member of the public present wishes to make a comment to the Planning Commission, you may do so at this time by raising your hand or using the star six function and waiting for me to call on you. Is there anyone uh, wishing to make a comment at this time? Okay, Chair, I see no hands raised. Thank you. Uh, with that, we'll go to comments from commissioners. We'll begin with Ms. Chick. I have none tonight. Thank you. Ms. Infante? None. Thank you. Mr. Zarzecki? None. Thank you. Mr. Dwyer? Nothing. Thank you. Mr. Kuzno? No comment. Mr. Aquinto? No, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I have none. I'll announce the next regular meeting, December 16th, 2020, for the Planning Commission to make a motion to adjourn. Support. Supported by Mr. Iquino. Any questions on that? Seeing none, all in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Thank you very much. Have a Thank good you. evening. Good night, all. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Mary, I've stopped the recording for you. It should be all there. <laughs>